Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh um, Apa yang saya akan buat kali ini ialah sambungan kepada uh, untuk sesi berapa buku yang lepas iaitu Your Roadmap for Success uh, hasil tulisan John C. Maxwell Ok, dan kali ini apa yang saya akan bentangkan ialah about growing to your growing to your uh, maximum potential then like i said the, uh, the last time success is a journey and as a journey like a, uh, as it is a journey you will act like a traveler so untuk travel you will start with packing am i right okay we cakap tentang packing um let's see before going on journey or trip you pack How do you pack? Are you just rambling, putting everything or put nothing in your suitcase? Or you look at your destination, you look at your schedule. When are you going to do what? What are you going to do in the meantime? And how many days are you going? So about how do you pack is eventually according to your uh, what, to your activities. Katakanlah, you tri- your trip is about a meeting. So you don't actually pack Um, pakaian untuk bercuti ke tem- ke tujuan uh, untuk meeting um, that's what I said when uh, when are you going to do what maknanya ok let's say first day nak buat apa second day nak buat apa third day nak buat apa katakanlah itu meeting meeting sehari je but then you decide untuk uh, tambah lagi cuti travelling untuk travel berjalan then you eventually will bring baju untuk meeting dan baju untuk berjalan then you You won't actually wear the same things. Okay, the third thing is um like how many days you're going? You let's say you're going for four days. You don't actually bring the entire closet to travel per hari. Okay, it is important. Contohnya sebab make uh, nothing in your past guarantees that you will continue growing to your potential in the future. What does this mean dengan journey? Okay. Kita punya how kita prepare dengan yang lepas Tak sama dengan how we prepare untuk future Katakanlah how we prepare untuk PMR Tak sama dengan how we prepare untuk SPM And tak sama dengan how we prepare for the, uh, for the exam dekat university Okay, so about growth itself It is a change And it is a choice Okay, what are the difference between successful person and unsuccessful person it is desire to reach potential which mean commitment to personal growth and eventually you have to dedicate yourself for your uh, personal growth and now how to develop dedication to personal growth okay first choose a life of growth like i said growth is a choice i do you want it Or you don't want it. But let's say, for this time, you choose to grow. Uh, if you want to grow with organization, you must grow a leader. If you want to have a better children, you must become a better person first. So that's actually, this this have the same meaning. Second is start growing today. Growth is not an automatic thing. So it's not like today and tomorrow, tiba-tiba dah dapat 5 cm. Tambah tinggi. No, this is the same thing. Growth is not happen overnight. It have to. You have really take steps for it, step by step. Takes time. So you have to start today, or you won't. You won't actually start any day. And growth today will provide a better tomorrow. And growth eventually is your responsibility. No one out there will help you in your growing if you don't want to grow, or you don't actually do anything, uh, to grow. Okay, yang ketiga ialah be teachable. Greatest obstacle to growth is knowledge, bukan success. Success it is the past. Knowledge is what we think we have. I said remember during during my pre med, my lecture, check up. I don't care how good you are, because I know all of you are straight A student, but I want you come to my class, know nothing, like an empty class, so that I can teach you what you should know. Jangan macam belagak pandai lah orang kata macam terlalu kurang. Okay, yang keempat, focus on self-development, not self-fulfillment. Bukan apa yang kita nak, tapi kita tahu apa yang kita kena ubah. Let's say, this is how I um, success dalam berubah. Okay, but there's 
so much to do. Focus on this so much to do, not on how much I have done. Okay, something like that. But, well, appreciate yourself. Cuma jangan terlalu fokus dekat situ. Fokus yang dekat depan. And then, never stay satisfied with current accomplishment. Let's say, um, you need the desire to learn. Okay, let's say, now I pass, Alhamdulillah, ke third year. Tapi, is pass is enough? So, maybe, untuk grow further, I might want to become a first class uh, on a student. Like that. Okay, and... Yang ke enam is be a continual learner. Uh, use the free time that we can to learn. Doesn't matter, learn anything. Just anything. Doesn't matter you have to learn medicine all the time. You can actually learn history or ideology or like Ustaz Rida Masa Pusat itu, economy. <laughs> um, then yang ketujuh, concentrate on a few major themes. Every person is composed of few themes. Like C.S. Lewis said, go concentrate on this few, not the others. Just like I said, one thing. So you might have more than one thing, okay? But you have your focus. You have what you are able to do. Something like that. Just focus on this. Don't focus on things you can't do. So you have to start with the first place untuk ubah diri. Tak. Okay, yang ke lapan, develop uh, a plan for growth. Spend time every day doing things that will help your growth and look for useful materials that, in, that can help you in your future. Yang ke sembilan, pay the price, sacrifice. Then yang ke sepuluh, find a way to apply what you learn and put your learning into action. Well, it is quite important. I mean, it is quite easy. Sorry, it's not quite easy for a medical student, contohnya, untuk apply apa yang belajar. Okay, like, so like, okay, first two years and a half, Theory, second tier and a half, hospital. Well, you usually apply what you learn. But mm, other things yang tak guna, um, yang tak macam tu. So you actually have to find your own effort to apply what you know. Contohnya macam John C. Maxwell. He know how to, uh, the theory untuk macam nak bantu orang lain, self-help. Uh, dia tahu macam nak pastikan satu organisation tu better, become better by time. So, but how eventually he helped other people to have the same thing as he as he does. So he write the books. So buku-buku dia membantu macam ada uh, orang lain macam mana untuk grow, untuk growing to a better uh, person organization. And don't worry, you will learn how to be uh, how to become a good packer. Okay, like I said, eh? along the journey, only bring what you have to bring, not anything else. You you actually on the first time like masa say first time keluar. When I was 18, maknanya tak pernah masuk asrama. Then I don't know how to pack untuk masuk asrama. But, okay, my, my sister helped me with that. So, eventually by time, I learn how to pack accordingly. Mungkin masa lagi ada masalah, tapi it's better than the first time. That is the most important that you do things better uh, from since the first time. Okay, how to help yourself in keep growing? First, you have to create a growing growing environment and make sure it is enjoyable. Okay, you are affected by your environment. It should look like others are ahead of you. Maknanya, you're not ahead of others. That doesn't give you motivation. Uh, you are still challenged. That's why I said important for you have others that are ahead of you. Your focus is forward. Think about the future more about the past. The atmosphere is uh, affirming. You are out of your comfort zone. Okay. Others are growing as well. This is important. Okay. This is a very important thing. It's about, okay, katakanlah you are the only one not uh, growing. It will be so difficult. Contoh yang paling mudah. Okay, let's say you want to improve your health status. You want to have a better life, have a better diet, um, exercise more. Okay, katakanlah you are the only one dalam your circle untuk ada semua tu. It will be very difficult. Like, um, I said, like, contohnya macam, I want to job every day. But you don't have anyone to job with. So, eventually, semangat tu akan ada masa awal je. Lepas tu, dia akan pudar. Sebab tak ada orang yang nak bersama kita untuk uh, have the same things. Dan macam tu nak makan makanan sihat. Tapi orang lain masak benda pelik dan benda yang sedap. Tapi, tak, tak, menyihat, tak berapa nak menyihatkan. So, it is very important untuk kita ada uh, dikelilingi oleh orang yang sama goal dengan kita. 
um, there is uh, selain tu there is willingness to change okay and uh, growth is model than expected okay and then, and then and um, then develop a relationship with growing people maknanya okay let's say you are alone then you know this one person dia nak you have the same goal uh, goal you dia pun nak growth nak growing terhadap goal tu then actually make relationship mean be friend with that person as a mean your closest association look at the people with um who know you actually uh with the knowledge you have chosen to spend your time and shoe uh actually your spine and usually you can share your idea okay and they can affect how you think and how you act um Second, cultivate relationship with these people, not only based on what you will gain, but also what you can do, what you can provide for them. Just let make it a winning win-win situation. They give you something, you give them something. Both gain something, and eventually, it can motivate you to your potential. Then, how do I handle the detours? Okay, the detours yang paling, um, cabaran yang paling kita kena hadapi ialah fear dan juga failure. Oh, seorang takut failure. Seorang takut fear of failure. Okay. We all have fears. Although, we are different. I have my own fears. They have their own fears. My fears is like, uh, I fear to talk to, to new people. So that, that. Okay. Kenapa masalah? Okay, fears. Apa masalah yang di akan dibuat oleh fears ni? Pertama, fears akan cause procrastination. Okay, dia akan divide our focus and akan lemahkan kita. Um, dia akan buatkan kita rasa isolated. That what I feel. Okay, draw. Uh, the fears juga akan drawbacks daripada situation. Make you drawbacks uh, from the situation. Um, fears akan brings you on mediocrity. Then dulls creativity. Okay, what you have to do is deal with your fear. Avoid. Um, okay, how you deal? I mean, actually, how you actually face your fear? It's like that you avoid the fear. Well, it's good. It, um, you don't want to hurt yourself, but it's really not productive. Second, hope that it will go away. Okay, things not happen as you want things to happen. So. We hope fears and uh, the things yang buatkan kita takut go away, but that sometimes not happen. Sometimes happen, sometimes not happen. Or ketiga, so it, uh, okay. So ketiga ialah face it, then overcome it, deal with it, face it. Okay, ah uh, how to face your fears? That's the most important question right now. Okay, discover the foundation of fear. Like I said, I I afraid of consultants. The truth. Saya takut nak jumpa konsultan dekat hospital. Saya takut nak pergi hospital. Saya takut nampak konsultan. Okay, why this happen? Okay, that remind me of what happened to me when I was 18, 17. I can't remember. But that eventually the reason why this happened. So you know the foundation of this fear. Okay, then admit your fear. You know that you have this fear. Uh, acknowledge them and keep moving forward. Okay, accept fear as price of progress. Fear can only deter you if you uh, let it. Okay, develop a burning desire. Your dream is uh, effective antidote for fear. It fills the flames of um, desire within you. Focus on think you can control. Focus on thing you can control. Okay, do not let what you cannot do um, interfere with what you can do. Um, so. Jangan bagi benda yang kita tak mampu nak buat Halang kita apa kita yang boleh Apa kita boleh buat Okay You can't fly But you can run Okay Don't let this thought of You can't fly Terap you can run So like that Okay um, Then fuck um, You can control your attitudes As you travel on the your journey But You have no control Action of others So like I said You can't control How the life Um treat you but you can control how you react to that happen to the uh, to what happened okay um, it is important to put some wheels inside yourself under your belts and fit your faith not your fear 
selagi, selagi kita menggrowkan faith, selagi kita kita akan mensmallkan faith, something like that. And eventually, um, does it mean like you feed your fear, ataupun you stuff your fear? It's just the same. Okay, so it is, uh, so it is easy. I mean, it's not easy, but the pemahaman is easy lah. I mean, okay, you stuff your fear, so biarkan fear tu makin lemah, lemah, dan lemah, so that one time fear tu tak mengganggu kita dah. Okay, that's about fear. Second is about failure. Okay. First, you have um to learn how to fail forward. Okay, about fail forward. Uh, Jan Sibat saya juga ada tulis sebuah buku yang tajuk Failing Forward, which is very good books. Uh, and I suggest it to read. Okay. Um, back to this. Ability to fail. Uh, all of us fail. We do. Success doesn't mean we don't have any failure. We avoid failure. It doesn't mean success. Okay. Um, okay. Ada orang tak suka guna kata failure. Tapi the fact is, kita kadang-kadang gagal. Tapi, kita gunakan sebagai satu loncatan. Kita, um, kita tak tak gunakan fail, uh, failure tu sebagai alasan untuk kita akan berjaya. Okay. Um, fail successfully or allow failure to send you on permanent detour. Uh, <coughs> Okay, then use failure as a springboard. Don't avoid failure. Instead, think what might have been and how things haven't worked out. Okay, focus on reward of success. How to fail forward. Sini benda ni ada dalam buku failing forward juga. Okay, and pertama, appreciate the value of failure. Um, if it strengthens you actually. Don't take fear personally. Let's failure... Uh, redirect you. Uh, don't take failure personally. Don't uh, let failure redirect you. Signals for change in direction. Keep a sense of humor. Ask why, not who. Make failure a learning experience. Don't let failure keep you down. Use failure as a gouge for growth. And see the big picture. And never ever give up. And uh, the most important thing is people will ask, are we there yet? Okay, in traveling. Okay, travel, how we know that we almost reach our destination? This is the importance of landmark. Katakanlah, seorang nak, daripada rumah, nak pergi ke sekolah. This is our first day, dekat situ. And we don't know how to get there. Then you ask someone, someone said, Okay, dia berada depan gym. Depan depan, tu dia kata, okay, gym, um, college ni baru dekat depan gym ni. You will see the gym, then you know, you are actually sampai kat college. How do you know? You actually tanda landmark tu. Okay, let's say, for the second time, you still can't remember uh, jalan. So, okay, this is my landmark. So, if I reach here, so I know where I'm going to do, go next. Okay. Um, okay, so you never been there. How would you know? Landmark ni paling mudah untuk umpamakan macam kat Paris lah. You never go to Paris. Am I right? Okay, I mean, some of us never go to Paris. But we know, I felt out. Well, kat Paris. So, uh, so the others told you. Uh, all you need is someone who is, who is acquainted with them to tell you what to look um, for and you recognize them. Okay, but what it costs to reach landmark? You will need to choose something over something. You can't choose everything. Okay, um... You have to uh, choose uh, achievement over affirmation. Affirmation from others is fickle and fleeting. You have to trade the praise you could uh, receive for things that of value that you can that you can accomplish. And you can do excellence over acceptability. Pay attention to details. Seek continual improvement. Practice self discipline. Maintain high personal standard. Ketiga, personal growth over immediate pleasure. This is important. Yang keempat, future potential over financial gain. Money often bring options, but it doesn't necessarily add value to your life. Uh, yang kelima, um, a narrow focus over scattered interests. Like I said, you can have a wide interest, but you have to, to to have your focus. You have to narrow down what you want to, uh, where you want to go, what you want to do. This is very important as um. If you don't have narrow focus, you actually lost your direction. <laughs>